I walked away from the deal. I walked away from a, you know theatrical and other avenues because I was like, you know what, this just doesn't make sense for me. Like I, I, I need certain things to be in place for this this deal to make sense to me. And I walked from the deal. Whereas before, filmmakers are so desperate sometimes in the distribution game that they just jump on whatever anybody gives them. And it, I'm in a I'm in a very you know wonderful position where I could just walk away from it because I don't have five hundred thousand dollars invested in that movie. I made I made a ego and desire for like I haven't I've even said this, but I made that movie for about three grand. You know, so like it didn't cost me anything to make that movie. So for me, I. That's a lean project. That's a lean ass project, baby. You know, so, you know, I think it was like three to four grand total, like including audio posts and everything. And, you know, favors don't forget and deferred payments and other things like that. But overall, though, out of pocket, like three or four grand. So I don't really, I can just walk away because I was able to keep my overhead so low that I have the power to just, you know what? If I just put it up on IFH TV or I just distribute it myself, I can do that. But I'm working with a, another distributor and, and we're going to put it out in other places. But the power to be able to walk away. It's huge. Is huge, especially when you're negotiating with somebody. Just like, because I just don't like, when someone sits down and negotiates with me on something like that, I'm going to be like, look, dude, this is what I got. And if you don't like it, I'm good, man. It's all good. No hard feelings, but. I'm, I'm not, not. I'm not your normal. I'm not your normal scenario, you know. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not an uneducated. Not that guy, man. You I'm know? not that dude. I'm not an uneducated guy who doesn't understand distribution and understand that. Not that the, Not that this company, by the way, was trying to screw me or anything like that. It's just the deal was not structured in a way that it made sense for me. Um, it was a good deal, but it just wasn't. It wasn't what I wanted. And, but that has a, a tremendous amount of power to just literally just go. That's not for me. I'm going to walk away. And if you can get to that place as a filmmaker, my God, that's an immense, beautiful, powerful place to be. That you are in control of your own destiny. Oh my God, that's. I think you can get that way. You can you can achieve that, but it's only for the people who love it enough to be elastic. Yeah. I did not I did not get into film to become a film school. I'm just gonna be honest with you. My idea <laughs> of filmmaking wasn't let me make tip videos online. It, it, it took me a long time to grow toward that, you know, because my idea is like, I want to be the next Tarantino. I want to be the next, you know. Of course. I make my film. I make my art. I put it out there for people to enjoy it. That was my idea of a filmmaker, right? And it goes back to that having 10 foods in front of you and all you've had is a cheeseburger. All I ever had was a cheeseburger. That's all I thought about film was auteur filmmaking, you know. Mm -hmm. And, you know... You know, so my journey in YouTube kind of broadened my horizons a little bit. And that was like, hey, I need to promote this film. I need to get out there. This YouTube thing, I'm hearing stuff about it. I did a couple of weeks research and realized, whoa, there's people building huge followings. Why have I not heard of this? Boom, let me just jump in. And I wasn't precious about it at all. I was like, well, I'm going to be going to these film festivals. I'm doing a whole film fest run real soon. If I'm going to start, I have to start now so that I can like capture the whole thing from start to finish. And I figured people would jump on the chance to see like, this is what happens after you make a film, you know, like that was my whole pitch. Unbeknownst to me then, that's not even a discoverable thing <laughs> to start with. But anyways, you know, I just jumped in and I wasn't precious about it and I didn't think much of it. My whole thing was my film, Unsound. This YouTube thing, eh, just a means to an end. But God. that was the best thing for me because it allowed me to just jump in without thinking too much about it because I didn't. I mean, I cared, but I didn't. You know, it's like it was just a means to an end for this other thing that I've spent all this money on, all this time on. So it was the best thing for me. It allowed me to just jump in. And mm. in doing so, I got to, hey, what's this ice cream thing here? Like, let me take just a little. Oh, oh that's not bad. That's not bad. What is that again? That's just, okay. And there's this, this pepperoni thing. Ah, oh, I don't need that. Every time I see that, I don't want no parts of that. But, you know, there's just a little piece of sauce on the table here. Let me just, oh, it's it's, it's kind of like this, but let me take a, so by just jumping in, I got to kind of just bump into these other things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then sooner or later, it's like, hey, you know, that thing that I thought I would never do that when I see other people doing it, I'm like, why would I do that? Like, that's just, now it's not looking so bad. 